Hello again, I'm back, it's me. It's the same topping, it's the same watch, it's the same mad shirt, but it is not the same company. I want to welcome you to John Stevenson's Levi Fishing Tackle. And guess what? We do exactly what it says on the tin. Now, all of a sudden, I find myself and Ali, we started our new business, and guess what? We're buying and selling fishing tackle. Now, I do have some items here in stock. I've got this little American reel, which somebody's polished and devalued. I've got a little box here with some salmon flies, which have been moths, which are horrible. I've got a Mitchell reel that's been repainted with a Union Jack flag. I've got a, a rod handle, but no rod. Uh, but the good thing I have is a plastic head and mouse. So what I'm saying in short is, I need fishing tackle. In order to sell it, I need to buy it. And so, with some gusto, I'm gonna be traveling all around the UK and buying collections or single items, quality items of fishing tackle. Now, we're a lot more laid back than on previous videos. This is a hobby business for us. Uh, we're gonna look at the history of the tackle Please find us on Facebook, same name, Levi Fish and Tackle, and we'll be putting on what I hope you will find some interesting stories and some memories from the USA tackle shows and from the tackle collecting scene going back 30 to 40 years. Crikey, when I think back, they'd hardly invented cameras at that point. I did forget to mention earlier, I've got this lovely mallet with all the finish, but nobody wants it. So this is, my this is my collection of stuff. Clearly I need to increase the collection. So what to do is have a rake in the loft, have a, have a dig in the cellar, um, go have a look in the garage, and uh, anything that you have that you no longer use, or you say, oh, I wonder what that's worth, I'll get it valued. I'll tell you what that's worth. That's worth 35 pounds. That's because that's what I paid for on eBay this week. Why would anybody repaint a Mitchell reel in the Union Jack colours? Well, because they can. What a fabulous piece of kit. Do you know how many Mitchell 300 reels were made? No, I hear you say. Over 30 million. 30 million. So when you get a Mitchell and it finishes a bit rough, it's absolutely acceptable in my book to repaint it, especially of this quality. I was going to sell it, but I'm going to keep it because it's mine and there's only one. So I'm John Stevenson. My friends call me JS. You can call me JS. Get in touch. It's the same old phone number, 07548 871 985. Or you can email me as of next week on john at webuyfishingtackle.com. And to use that good old phrase, let's talk tackle. See you soon.